In the hadith in Sahih Muslim, our Prophet ﷺ said, the rich person, Al-Ghani, is not the one who has a lot of possessions. We would say the one who has a big bank account. The rich person is the one whose heart is content. Think about this. The rich person is not measured by the car that you drive, by the clothes that you wear, by the house that you live in. The rich person is decided by how happy his heart is, how content his heart is. If his heart is content and happy, that is the richest person on earth. This is what happens when we have rida bi qada illah, rida bi qadar illah. Now, somebody will say, does this mean that if I don't have any money, I just sit at home and be happy that I don't have money. No, this is not what rida means. Rida means that you submit to Allah's final decision with regards to how much risk you have. But there's an interesting catch. And it is in this catch that Islam becomes different from capitalism, from Catholicism, from Buddhism, from any other ism, that we have a unique philosophy and system. Rida means that you submit to the decision of Allah but you don't know what Allah's decision is. I repeat, Rida means you submit to the decision of Allah, but you don't know what the decision of Allah is. So how can you submit when you don't know? This is where we see the beauty of Islam. This is where we see the very interesting dynamics. The, the system of Islam has internal checks and balances to make sure that your greed does not consume you, to make sure that your desire for this dunya does not corrupt you. This is where checks and balances are put in. Listen to me carefully. Islam tells us it is permissible for the heart to desire that which is pure. But the iman and the brain must keep it in check that if you don't get it, then you are content that you don't have it. Faya dhulli wa ya khajali Iza ma qala li rabbi Ama stahiyayta ta'asini Wa la takhsha min al-atabi Wa tukhfi al-dhamb an khalqi وتأبى في الهوى قربي فتب مما جنيت عسى تعود إلى رضا الرب تعود إلى رضا الرب